Hello Alaxers! This is a special series we're doing here on Alax, where every day we showcase the life and story of some of the most important figures in rap music. Today we're looking at 15 Things You Didn't Know About Tupac. Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. Hello Aluxers, today we're talking about the legendary rapper Tupac. Tupac Shakur, also known by his stage name Tupac, was a legendary rapper born in 1971 as LaShane Paris Crooks. A lot of people consider him to be the greatest rapper of all time. Of course, some of his fame is attributed to his mysterious death back in 1996. There's also speculation that the rapper may still be alive and will one day put out new music. Shakur also found success as an actor. His legacy still persists today, and he's said to be an inspiration to many young rappers. If you're new here, welcome! Be sure to subscribe and follow us on Instagram at Alux. Okay, that's enough with the intro. Let's dive in and get a closer look at this rapper with the 15 things you didn't know about Tupac. Number 1. Most of Tupac's family were involved in the Black Panther movement. Tupac Shakur was born LaShane Paris Crooks in Manhattan. He was born to his mother, Alice Williams, and his father, Billy Garland. One thing a lot of people don't know about Tupac is he was born to be a rebel. Most of his family was involved with the Black Panther movement at one point or another. In fact, his mother, Alice Faye Williams, was acquitted of more than 150 criminal charges just a month before he was born. She had been accused of hundreds of charges of conspiracy against the federal government and landmarks of New York City. Number 2. Tupac wrote songs for and performed with legendary rappers. Tupac was known for being involved with a lot of controversial characters out in California. Some of his best friends were rappers who were also known as gang members in LA. He wrote songs for many movies, such as Above the Rim and Poetic Justice. He was not only a rapper, but he was also an actor, appearing in films such as Poetic Justice and Nothing But Trouble. He became a household name in the mid-1990s, and was known as much for his feuds with other artists as he was for his own music. Number 3. Tupac Shakur Attended Baltimore School for the Arts after spending much of his childhood in New York, Tupac and his family moved to Baltimore in 1986. Once there, he enrolled in the Baltimore School for the Arts, where he studied acting, poetry, jazz, and ballet. Unlike most other rappers, he was almost classically trained. While at school, he and a friend of his would enter rap battles and were almost always the winners. He was known as one of the most popular kids in high school and was said to have an awesome sense of humor. Number 4. Tupac released his first album, Tupacalypse Now, in 1991. After dabbling as a DJ in the late 80s, Tupac finally released his first solo album in 1991. It was called Tupacalypse Now. The album was only published locally, so it didn't really receive a lot of public attention. However, other rappers took notice. In fact, many rappers say it was this first album of Tupac's that inspired them to make their own music. He then joined the Digital Underground group and started putting out more mainstream music. Their hit, I Get Around, ranked number 11 on Billboard's Top 100. Number 5. Tupac's net worth is $40 million Although Tupac was shot and killed back in 1996, his estate and net worth have continued to grow long after his death. While he was alive, he found moderate financial success, but sales of his records and movies took off after he died. His family has maintained tight reins on his estate. He now posthumously is worth over $40 million. It's estimated that over $31 million of that money was earned after he was killed. He's listed as one of the richest dead singers in history. Number 6. Vice President Dan Quayle once labeled Tupac as the cause for violence among young black men in the country. Two of the most popular songs on Tupac's first album were called Trapped and Brenda's Got a Baby. These songs were popular everywhere, even in Texas. 
Back in 1993, a young black man in Texas shot and killed a state trooper. Dan Quayle, vice president at the time, said it was Tupac's songs that caused him to shoot the man. Tupac, feeling the backlash from Quayle's comments, said that he doesn't deny wanting to write about the things that plague young black men. He said although he writes about the real-life problems for black men, he never advocated shooting a cop. Number 7. Tupac was sentenced to four and a half years in prison for sexual abuse. In 1992, Tupac was charged and convicted of sexually abusing a female fan. He was sentenced to one and a half to up to four and a half years in prison. It was not his first time being charged with a crime, though. He was arrested six times since 1993 for weapons and drug offenses, but had served no actual prison time. In 1992, Tupac and his road manager were accused of sexually assaulting a young female fan. When he was convicted, he said he regretted nothing. He said that he puts his fate into the hands of God. He was initially told he had to serve 18 months to get parole, but was released seven months later. Number 8. Tupac had a deadly rivalry with fellow gang member Notorious B.I.G. For quite some time leading up to his death in 1996, Tupac was involved in a West Coast versus East Coast gang battle with fellow rapper Notorious B.I.G. The two were involved in several shootings and suspected of criminal activities out in Los Angeles. Most of Tupac's songs dealt with this issue. There were also very public battles between the two, with threats made against both of their lives. Number 9. Tupac was shot and killed on September 7, 1996. On September 7, 1996, Tupac was out in Las Vegas to celebrate his business partner's birthday. He attended a Mike Tyson boxing match with his friend and owner of Death Row Records, Suge Knight, at the MGM Grand. On the way out of the fight, they spotted a rival Crips gang member in the lobby of the hotel. They left and were riding in Suge Knight's BMW. At about 11 p.m., a cop on a bicycle stopped the car for playing their music too loud, but didn't issue a ticket. Just 15 minutes later, a white Cadillac with four people in it pulled up next to the car and shot Tupac four times. He would die later on from his injuries. It has been determined by most that his death was due to gang violence. Number 10. A jailhouse letter written by Tupac in 1995 was auctioned off for $250,000. While serving his sentence for sexual abuse in 1995, Tupac wrote a five-page letter to a former editor of Death Row Uncut named Nina Bradwashar. He wrote to her about the plight of the young black man, especially in prison in America. In his letter, he told her he was tired of the thug life and intended to play it straight when he got out of prison. He died just a year later. He died just a year after. The original letter was auctioned off 20 years later for over $250,000. Number 11. Despite his official death in 1996, people still claim that Tupac is alive and well. Whether they're deranged fans who just wish he were alive, or friends of his who may know more than we do, people to this day still insist the rapper is alive and well. Although people still claim they see him today at places like Lakers games and music award shows, there was a convincing sighting claim in Cuba in 2004. A lot of the speculation is actually created by his old friend, Suge Knight. Knight was seen talking to a man in Cuba who looked a lot like Tupac. However, the man had no tattoos, so we don't think it was the real thing. Number 12. In November 2014, people claim that Tupac would be returning to put out a new album. Again, there's been a lot of questions concerning whether the rapper is actually dead. People who claim he's alive say he would be returning soon to put out a new album. A lot of people think he's in South America somewhere working on music. One thing that sparked these new suspicions is that Suge Knight of Death Row Records has said that such an album may actually be in the works. Number 13. Tupac set a Guinness World Record in 2004 for being the best-selling rapper of all time. 
Even though he had died almost 10 years prior, Tupac was still named by Guinness as the world record holder for the most albums ever sold by a rap artist. At that time, he had sold over 67 million albums, but we imagine the number may have even doubled once again in the last 15 years. Each generation is introduced to his music despite the fact that he's been gone for over 20 years. Like lots of artists, Tupac's music started selling a lot more after he died than when he was alive, and speculation surrounding his death only sparked more sales of his movies and music. Number 14. Tupac actually starred as the Mouse King in The Nutcracker when he was in high school. We don't tend to think of Tupac, or any rapper for that matter, as a thespian. However, when he was in high school, Tupac acted in many Shakespearean plays. He also had the role of the Mouse King in his school's production of The Nutcracker. As a teenager, Tupac was known for his writing and acting abilities. He wrote a lot of poetry and attended a school renowned for their dance and music programs. One of his best classes was ballet. This is something we imagine he didn't brag about to his gang buddies years later. Number 15. Tupac's legacy, both before and after his death, has remained one of the most interesting topics in Hollywood. Yes, Tupac wrote some powerful and popular songs. He was one of the most popular rappers at the time of his death. However, it's his mysterious death that has kept him relevant in the eyes of Hollywood. There have been dozens of stories and documentaries about his life and death. However, in 2018, actors and police experts from all over the country collaborated to really investigate his death. This, coupled with the biopic of his life, called All Eyes on Me, reignited America's interest in the rapper. Well, Aluxers, that's a wrap on Tupac. We'd love to know, though. Do you think he's still alive? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us all the way to the end, here's your bonus. Number 16. To this day, his murder remains unsolved. For quite some time after he was killed, a lot of people suspected that his rival, Notorious B.I.G., and his friend had something to do with Tupac's death. However, it was later proved that Biggie was at a recording studio the night Tupac was shot. Also, a lot of the speculation ended when Notorious B.I.G. was shot and killed the following year. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.